from in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I think that's outrageous. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program we're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon no I am your host write down our telephone number you're gonna need it it's 1 800 5 800 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I want to thank the listener named Sal. The subject of his email is another NYC bitch. And uh, he took a photo of the back end of a Volvo. And the woman's uh, vanity plate said NYC girl. And we're all supposed to be impressed, right? If you need Aquanet now, you know who to ask. (laughs) I don't understand it. Why do people from New York think we're going to care? What is that all about? Stop it already. Stop, please. Anyway, Sal, thank you for that. Sal said that right from his cell phone to uh, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. He just sent that right in. And uh, you can send stuff right into Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. I do read it while we're working here. This is your chance to say something directly to me. I read every email. I don't respond to almost any emails. (laughs) Unless you're hot and your name ends in Z, I generally don't respond. But I do read all of them. If your name ends in Z, be sure to include your phone number and a current photo. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to write to me while the show is in progress and you'd like to uh, say something and you can't get through on the phone, uh, just send it to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Uh, Jamel writes in. So Jamel has asked me uh, to do something here on the air. He says, uh, just like you did with that Sex of the City movie, please beat the crap out of any male that does not have the balls to tell his girl, date, wife, no to going to see the film Mama Mia by the way Mama Mia you know who the star of Mama Mia is I only know because I've been seeing the billboards around town Meryl Streep <laughs> she's about the age of Abba that Meryl Streep about the same age she's scary looking. I haven't seen her in this film But uh, remember when Meryl Streep used to be nominated for every Oscar every year? It was Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress. Now she does movies like The Devil Wears Prada and Mamma Mia. (laughs) Just outrageous. But I mean, yes, I agree. Honestly, you know, if you wanted to sell uh, subscriptions to magazines like The Advocate or Blue Boy... You just stand outside any showing of Mamma Mia. Any ma- and by the way, nothing wrong with those publications. They're just fine. There's a lot of potential customers. <laughs> Has Dean seen Mamma Mia yet? I'm sure his neighbors have. Just amazing. I mean, there are some things now that are so girly, I can't imagine any straight male even even getting a look at the credits. 
much as seeing the whole film. I can't imagine being in the wrong theater. Like, you ever go to a multiplex and you walk into the wrong screen? I can't even imagine seeing the credits to that film without retching. I don't care. I, I do not care. You know, I don't care how many of my gay male friends in the entertainment industry tell me how great the play was. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine how it is. Well, look, you're a guy. And let's say you got cornered. I don't know how it happened, okay, but you got cornered. You know, your girl just gave you no way out. At least that's how you felt. And there you were at Sex of the City, the film, or Mamma Mia, or some overtly chick flick. I mean, this goes beyond the usual chick flick where Hugh Grant stammers for two hours. I mean the ones that are so girly. Bridget Jones's anything. <laughs> and these two. Mamma Mia and Sex in the City, which finally is petered out. But, uh, I mean, I'm wondering if you have felt that you had the gun to your head and you went. I'm wondering if you went to one of these overtly chick flicks. I'm wondering if somebody saw you going in or coming out. I'm wondering how you felt. I'm wondering if you were surprised that you actually liked it. Oh, yeah, call in and say that. But if you've seen one of these films, if you felt a brow beaten to going in, if the projection room had a malfunction, the film broke or whatever, on the film you were supposed to see and you ended up being herded into another screening room and you ended up seeing one of these films, I've got to know, boys, I've got to know what that experience was like, so please tell me. Tom Like is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So why don't you marry this? Uh, I already got a best friend. She listens, does what I say, doesn't talk back, doesn't use the restroom. She's man's best friend, a dog. Oh, and well, she is a bitch. Yeah, she's a bitch. It's the Tom Likey Show. Show. Welcoming everybody who's just tuned in. The other people, you were already here. And as I once heard on a radio station in Sag Harbor, Long Island, the announcer said, You are listening to the sound of my voice. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> oh, boy. Chris on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. I just wanted to call in and I uh, heard you talking about Mamma Mia and wanted to give my two cents on the subject. Okay. Uh, specifically, the what appears to be the male lead. I, I don't know. I don't plan on seeing the movie. I've just seen you know a couple billboards for it. Apparently, Pierce Brosnan is in it. I don't know if you knew that or not. I did not know that. Now, this is something that I... Here's a guy, he was James Bond. Every guy on the face of the planet wanted to be him, or at least be like that character that he played. He even had some interesting movies before that with uh, the Thomas Crown Affair and a couple others. You know, I was a, I was, I was a fan of his. But with every... Then he, after he lost Bond... He 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 went off the deep end. It seems like he he married a chick who turned in turned out to be you know blew up that gained a hundred pounds and decided to flaunt it on the beach. And then he made movies like The Matador about a, a, a an assassin who's sexually confused. Actually, his and wife has a new movie coming out called The Fatador. Don't miss that. Yeah, and and, and now he's doing Mamma Mia. I mean, come on. Oh boy. I, I, you, you got to be kidding me! The guy had the guy had every you know every woman wanted him, every man wanted to be him or at least be like him, and 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 it's it's almost like he did the exact opposite of what you teach your listeners to do. Oh, no doubt about it, in every way, shape, and form. 
So anyway, I just wanted to add, throw my two cents in there and uh, blow me up, Tom. I'll blow you up, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Francisco on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello, sir. Yes. Um, well, I once went to uh, watch P.S. I Love You with my ex-girlfriend. Oh, boy. And, uh, yeah, my uh, she told me that she was going to go with or without me, oh, but she was going to take my roommate if I didn't go with her. And uh, being the jealous person I am, I ended up going with her. Is and, your roommate uh, a guy? Yeah. Is your roommate a straight male? Yes. I tell her, you know what, you go right ahead, and um, when she comes back, that's it. She's not the girlfriend anymore. Uh, well, I uh, I was suspicious at the time. But, uh, she well, the fact that you're 19 and you have a girlfriend who's trying to manipulate you indicates that you're a pussy and you need to do something about it. Yeah, well, I, I, um, I just turned into uh, listening to you. I start right. Recently. So, um, yeah. right, well, I, let me tell you, uh, step one: if you're 19, there's no girlfriend. Okay. If you have a girlfriend, it means you have no game. Um, how, how's that? Because if you had game, you'd have all the chicks out there that you'd get your hands on. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Number two, uh, she's already uh, trying to manipulate you. Well, uh, she, uh, we, we broke, we, uh, we broke up, so. That's good. Now don't make the same mistake again. Yeah, and my my it was pretty humiliating because my friends ended up uh, they they found out about it, so they I keep uh, messing. Uh, they keep telling me about it that I went to a chick flick. You went to a but, chick flick with her. Well, that's now now that you've told me the rest of the story. This isn't surprising to me, but how was that? Um, <laughs> it was pretty dreadful. <laughs> I I try to make her. Um, I, I told her if I could go watch another movie. Uh, I don't remember what other films were at the time, but I uh, kept going to the restroom, and she she said uh, if I did, really didn't want to go, then I should have told her so she could have taken my roommate. So after that, I was I I confronted her about it. And said if there was something going on with between her and my roommate, and lo and behold, there was. So I made a fool out of myself, thinking that I love this chick. <laughs> and so, um, well, I, I we we broke it off, like I, I said earlier, and I haven't seen. Him. And uh, you're not going to have another girlfriend now, are you? Oh no, 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 no! I, I I'm going to start listening to you more more often. <laughs> I think it's time. Yes, yes, sir. I so I just I just thought I should. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you did, Francisco. Thank you. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Alex on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alex. How you doing? Yeah, well, I just wanted to call you and let you know I did go watch Sex in the City. Why? Uh, well, of course, as you know, we went on safari with a couple of friends. We had to go cougar hunting. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, Tom, that theater, barely any males, full of cougars. God, they watched the movie, got all riled up. Did you, uh, did you pick one up? Uh, me and my friends picked up actually a little group. We decided we walked, we waited outside the theater. We got out before they got out. We looked around. We saw which ones we wanted to approach. They were just looking for some young hot males to go approach them. Holy cow. We basically just started talking to them. Um, they were like, oh, let's go to dinner. Of course, we followed your rules. We didn't. We just went for drinks. Once we got there... 
we paid the little starving student role. We didn't have much cash. They paid. <laughs> After that, we just headed out. We went to one of the ladies' houses, which is in, up in North Long Beach. Nice, beautiful house out there. We, uh, we, each took a, we took one of the ladies, went to our separate areas, went back. We just left around 3 in the morning, satisfied with a smile. Look at that. So for 14 bucks, you got laid. Pretty much. Didn't pay for drinks. We just got a ride out there. They had fun. We had fun. They wanted us to just stay over for breakfast. We're like, no, we got to get out of here. Yep, you're exactly right about that, Alex. Wow. Using it as a cougar hunting device. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, Dean J. Domenio has just uh, forwarded me the link to Pierce Brosnan on the sky blue carpet for Mamma Mia uh, with his uh, very fat wife. I mean, boys, if you were Pierce Brosnan, <laughs> wouldn't you have like three different chicks a day? You'd have them in shifts. I'd never see another fat roll for the rest of my life. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Steve on the Tom Likas Show. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Steve. Hey, you know, I'm not going to go see those movies, but I actually got tricked into seeing Sweeney Todd about six months ago, a year ago. Are you familiar with that, with Johnny Depp? Oh, um, well, I, I heard about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a musical, but, you know, I saw the previews. It looked like Johnny Depp. It looked like a murder movie. So me and my wife went to the movies. Thank God I got baked in the car before going in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what was Sweeney in. Todd like when you were baked? Well, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad because I, I was so baked I couldn't move. You know, I'm sitting there with my popcorn and raisinettes. I wasn't really going to go anywhere. I couldn't drive home, so I had to stick it out. But uh, I'm looking around the movies because he starts singing. And I'm like, what the, you know, what the hell? You know, he's singing. And I start seeing guys get up. And there's, like, other guys that, you know, two friends or something that got tricked into going or thought it was a, a different type of movie. So I see people start leaving. And, uh, you know, it was a bunch of singing. It was, you know, the first time I ever went to go see a musical at the theater. That's pretty gay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sweeney Todd was a Broadway musical. Well, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I found out later. So yeah. now, you know, I'm very careful to make sure, I, you know, I go on Yahoo, check out the reviews, figure out what movie I'm going to actually see. Funniest thing is actually leaving the theater... It was it was all gay dudes and you know with their fag hag you know like two gay dudes and like one big chick about two forty like two. <laughs> it was funny. We even went for laughing. We were like, check out the crowd leaving. Yeah, we were like, we feel like the only normal people. You know, like, but you know, you, sometimes you get suckered in. Sometimes you don't you know necessarily have a plan to go see these movie chick flicks. You know, I think I sucked into them. Well, that's that's why I wanted to find out what that was like. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Even, I haven't even seen the movie Silver, so I don't even know if it's that good. You know, to be honest with you. <laughs> Thank you for that, Steve. It's Tim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, Tom, first time. Okay, check it out. I went to go see the movie at the drive-in. What drive-in? Uh, went out here in the uh, Riverside area. Is there still a drive-in in Riverside? Yeah, there's two of them out here. Actually, I got. You know what? I haven't been to a drive-in movie since I was a child. That that actually might be fun. Oh yeah, they're they're great. And um, and and how do you get the sound? Does it come over your radio, or does it come through your iPhone? How's the phone? How's the sound get it? Yeah, it just it just comes over your radio. They tell you uh, the one I went to. It's got uh, three screens, and you just tune in to whatever they tell you. Uh, and I know a guy that works there, so I didn't even have to pay to see this stupid movie. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway... Drive-in movie. Yeah, uh, so my girlfriend, and, and I, I use that term loosely because, you know, all the boys know when I say girlfriend, they're like, okay, w which one? So, anyways, we head on over there, and we're watching the movie, and the the star, she's getting married, and her her best friend, the girl, tells, uh, when, when she's walking out, she's pissed off, she looks at the guy and says... Don't you ever get married. And I just looked right at my girlfriend, and, you know, she didn't even have to say because she wanted to go to this movie, and all of a sudden 
you know, the start of the movie, her girlfriend's telling the, uh, uh, the bachelor, let me give you some advice. Don't ever get married. So I just, that was, that was the best part about it. But, you know, when you go to the drive through the, the, the drive-in, all these girls want to go to see these chick flicks. Okay, so take them. Because, you know, you, if you bring, like, a van, that thing's like a motel on wheels. Well, uh, that's true. That's why I'm thinking about this. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. I'd I mean, say, I'm uh, ready to drive out to Riverside to see a movie. And and then once it's all over, it's it's time to get in the back and, and, and start banging. Why wait till it's over? Why wait? There you go. <laughs> well, you're dead. You're right, Tim. I like that. Thank you. Wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Lewis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing great. I got a story for you. I used to work at the movie theaters about uh three years ago. Right. Uh, at that time, I don't know if you remember the movie The Notebook. That came out, and a uh, movie Fahrenheit nine eleven came out the same week. Well, I was a projectionist, so I uh, I actually set up the films, got it all together for the weekend. But I also had to screen the movies. So as I'm getting the movie ready and I, you know, I look at my boss and I say, all right, well, just letting you know, I'm going to watch Friend High 9-11. He's like, yeah, sure, no problem. He's like, just go to Theater 14. I'll have a set up for you by 1030, you know, once, you know, we're almost closed. And you go watch the movie. So I get my popcorn, I get my soda, I get my paperwork, and, I'm, you know, I'm walking over there and I'm sitting there and I'm asking myself, wow, there isn't no more people here because people who worked at the movie theater could screen also. So I'm sitting there waiting, and the movie starts, and I go, all right, here we go. We're going to watch Fahrenheit 9-11. So I'm waiting. It came out to be that I got set up to watch The Notebook by myself. Oh, no. In a big theater of 550C. And oh, boy. I, just, I look at it, and I close my eyes, and I, we had a walkie-talkie that connected us to uh, pretty much to everybody else who uh, was working upstairs, the managers, everybody, and... You just hear me go, dude, what am I watching? And the whole, the whole theater just starts laughing. <laughs> just laughing. Because everybody was in on it that I was going to watch The Notebook. And you got to understand, I saw this movie a week before it came out. Holy cow. You're talking about, I knew this movie up and down before any of the girls out there knew about it. So it was the most saddest, disappointing night i've ever gone through and it was without me <laughs> i had no say in it because that was my job i am so sorry to hear that mark on the tom like show hello hey how's it going tom going great hey uh i got tricked into watching an unfinished life with uh robert redford and morgan freeman that, that's what she told me hey an unfinished robert life was that a movie about furniture no, I don't know. It was I, I wasn't even paying attention. Twenty twenty minutes into the movie, I see J Lo come up walking up to the house. I was like, "Oh man!" I'm oh boy! Not. Hey, but, hey, we're sorry on the about, air. Sorry about that, son. She knew I caught on her little trick, so I asked her if she wanted anything from the concession stand. She said, "Yeah, popcorn, drink." And I left. <laughs> Hey, uh, can you uh, blow me up, Tom? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Daryl on the Tom Likas show. Yo, Tom, what's good, man? Not, not much, Daryl. Hey, I uh, just wanted to comment about the guy that uh, said he had a girlfriend that was, uh, I think he was 19, he said? Yeah. That's why I hope he's still listening to that. Last time I had a girl was about five years ago, and five years ago was when I first started to listen to Tom. So girls, they just come and go, treat them like the whores they are, and even if they don't, and if they don't, still got to go. That's You're exactly right about that. Tom Like It. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Like It. In this day and age... For a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, my name is Tom Likas. We are 1-800-5800. 
Todd. Thank you, Todd, again. Oh, yeah. We're talking about guys who've been dragged to these overtly chick flicks. That you? Call me. 1-800-5800-TOP-STEVE. Steve Calling Point used to be called El Toro, and then it changed its name. Hoping to see more upscale Lake Forest on the Tom Liga Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. Hey, you know, I want to take exception. I think you kind of categorize all guys. If, if you go to a musical or if you go to a play or that type of thing, then you're a pussy. And that's, I think you're off base there. You well, know? you only say that because you've gone to musicals or chick flicks or both. Oh, sometimes I have. You know, I'll, yeah. But I never get drugged there. My wife... Well, you know, if, she, if I don't want to go, I don't go. But, I mean, you're, you're putting guys in a capsule. Is a guy a pussy because he likes to say cook? Or what about the guy that's a wine car? No, that's no, a actually, movie? actually, uh, cooking is something we all need to do. What about wine? Are you, are you a concert of wine? What about real men should be drinking whiskey, not freaking wine? I, dr- I drink whiskey, too. Oh, see, but, but you, I'm saying, though, you're a concert of wines. I know that. And right? whiskey. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying though, but you you pitch yourself as being a guy who knows his wines and some of the finer things. That yep. doesn't make you a pussy. Uh, actually, uh, it generally means you have money. No, it's you, yeah, you, yeah. You don't have to have money to be a connoisseur of certain things. Well, not, I, I, not, I, not, if all you've got is five dollars to spend for a bottle of wine, uh, drinking white Zinfandel does not make you a wine connoisseur. It makes you a pussy. Well, if you're. <laughs> You're talking extremes. I bet you know you can buy something better, a five dollar bottle of wine. I'm not a I'm not a millionaire like you are, but I don't know what you can buy. I can still buy, it, you know, and 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 you can drink whiskey too. I'm just being facetious here. I know, but by saying that, because I know these are things you like to do. But there's people say, oh, look, cooking is something everybody has to do at some time or another. Well, it's on the backyard barbecue or wherever. Uh, but uh, uh, seeing uh, Hugh Grant in a film. Or seeing Mama Mia, they're not a straight man in the world who wants to do that. I, I, I tell you, I'm a straight guy. And so you see want Mama to Mia. see Mama Mia? And you're, and you're putting down Meryl Streep, who's she's a great actress. She really is. And I mean, she's getting long and too, so she's probably not getting the roles that she once did. But she's still good. She's still a good actress. Most yeah. women her age are getting roles, uh, mostly under their breasts. <laughs> well, I don't think she's probably looking Yeah, they at say that. there's no roles for uh, older actresses. Sure there are. Take your shirt off and look in the mirror. <laughs> Plenty of roles. <laughs> no, I, I, just, I just think, uh, my comment is that you're just, I think you're off base. You're saying a guy goes to like a Mamma Mia. I mean, say you're going to a play like Wicked, you know. I'm, yes, a play like Wicked is a perfect example. You I, know, I, You know all the shows, don't you? I know the shows, sure. Doesn't make me a gay or a pussy because I'll go to those movies. I, I don't mean with that. I, I, I am too. I'm fine with it. Great. Too. I'm, not. I'm not, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to trap me there, Tom. I'm, I'm perfectly you. if look, if you're gay and you want to see Wicked, I uh, more power to you. I think you people should be able to get married. Uh, I, I think. Oh wait, you are married too. and you're gay. <laughs> Tom, you're trying to trick me, here, buddy. <laughs> Try to trick me. It's not hard. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to David on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, David. I'm a hardcore Likas listener. I mean, absolutely. I think you're fantastic. But I got to tell you, I did see Brokeback Mountain, and I will see Mamma Mia when my wife asked me to go. And the only reason I'll do it is because she's my second wife. She's from Eastern Europe, and she treats me like a god. I mean, I am so spoiled and treated so well by this woman that if it means I have to take a Vicodin or two and go to one of these movies with her to make her happy, I'll do it. Really? Now, I know you would normally criticize, but you don't understand that uh, women from Eastern Europe and non-American women are very different. Doesn't and mean I want to see a chick flick. 
Well, yeah, but you got to give and take a little if you're going to stay in a marriage. And I'm telling you, Tom, I'm treated so well. It's not much to just go to one of these things, grin and bear it, and then, you know, come home and be treated fantastically. It's a small sacrifice on this particular subject as far as I'm concerned. But you're the man, and uh, I just... uh, I love you. You're great. But on this subject, Tom, I'm willing to, to take one. And uh, that's that's it, Tom. Thank you so much. All right. He's taking one for the team. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I think you should send both those last callers a uh, pair of um, tickets to Mama Mia. I'm actually just... One ticket each so they can go see it by themselves. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, uh, man, I got tricked into seeing that hairspray, man. I was going out with this uh, smoking hot uh, personal trainer, just started dating her. Man, this girl's hot, 38 inches of junk in her trunk. And we were going through the Internet to pick out movies, and she goes, hey, let's see this comedy uh, hairspray. And I go, well, what's it about? Oh, well, John Travolta, he's dressed up like a chick in it. So I'm thinking, oh, at least this is going to be semi-funny. We're sitting there watching it, and the very first scene I get is this fat chick screaming, Good morning, Baltimore. I look over to her, and I realize, oh, my God, I'm stuck watching this movie. And I look at her and said, I'm going to sleep. Hope you don't mind. And she goes, nope. She got what she wanted. I got what I wanted in the night, and everything was perfect. Oh, boy. Yeah. But you had to watch it. No, I had to watch the backs of my eyelids while I was sleeping, and that's about it. <laughs> and then I watched the back of her behind all night going, looking da 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 da. <laughs> Very it could nice. It could be worth it if, uh, if, uh, if you got it put down for at least one night, you know? Well, at least, you, at least you feel like you got something for it. Uh, but even then, you know what? Sometimes the price is too high to pay. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. George on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Long-time listener, first-time caller. I'm doing great. Uh, a little comment about those chick flicks. you got to use them to your advantage. Use them for their advantage. How do you do I, that? I recently watched uh, The Notebook with a girl that I met. You know, I told her to come over. I really want to see this movie. I heard good things about it. At the end, it all paid off. Didn't spend no money. Brought her over to my house. It worked. Really? She said, can I spend the night? Uh, Sorry, you know, I got to get up really early in the morning, go to work. You got to (laughs) go. Just like they said, just like they said, I learned from the big daddy, Tom, hit it and quit it. Love it. Yeah, love it. So to all those guys out there, take advantage when you have it, but don't go, don't get forced to go watch this movie. I don't want to be seen coming out of the theater. Are you kidding Exactly. Oh, I don't my. want to be coming out of the theater neither. The worst. Yes. And to that one guy, that young guy that said he had a girlfriend, like I tell him, Big Daddy, DTB. That's all I have to say. <laughs> thank you so D-T-B. much. DTB. George, thank you. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's William on the Tom Likas show. Hello, William. Hey, what's going on, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, um, I got, got something to say to these married guys. I'm 44 and I'm married. Um, waited a long time to get married. Love your show. Believe in everything. But if you have to say, oh, I got to give and take for, no, nah, they're with these guys are pussies. My wife knows if she's going to watch a chick flick, she'll watch it with chicks, and I'll grab my 12-pack, turn on the TV, and watch the NASCAR. I do not get dragged to any kind of homo or gay or woman flick. These guys not that there's them. anything wrong with that. Well, no, it's just, you. come on, do you really, why should you, if you're not whipped, then you don't have to compromise, period. I you know agree. what I'm saying? I'm not going to watch Brokeback Mountain so I can get some that night, because after watching that, I'm probably really not going to want to be into it anyway. <laughs> I think you're right. That's it. They just found the wrong girl. I mean, my girl knows. She doesn't expect me to watch a chick break or any of those kind of movies, so. Uh, they just need to put on the pants of the family. Yeah. You, uh, would you see a movie like Sex in the City? Uh, no, I don't want to watch a horse walk around trying to get some. Hang on a second. Wait, Carl, you saw it, didn't you? Carl? Hello? Carl, did you see Sex of the City? Yes, I did. Absolutely. Tell Bye. William about it. 
Uh, I saw it. It was one of the first movies I saw with my girlfriend when I just got back from Iraq, and it actually has a good male perspective about relationships. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. My own perspective. I don't need to watch four hags walk around, and uh, I just I just do that. My lady knows I'm not into it, and uh, I don't have to compromise. I think if you set things straight, um, you don't have to deal with that kind of stuff. If you enjoy it, whatever turns you on, man. But not me. But I'd rather watch, you know, some uh, some guy kind of flicks or guy TV, and my lady will watch her shows. And if it's a girl flick, she'll go with her girlfriend to watch a movie. That's about it. But. uh Anyway, Tom, love your show, man. I think these guys just need to wear the pants of family. Just so you got a proper, you know, the vagina. Don't mean you can use the men's room. No, oh, I yeah, will. Brother. Carl, William, thank you. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Yeah. I went and saw that, that, uh, what's it, Miss Congeniality? Oh, Miss Congeniality? Yes. Oh, God. I did that with my then girlfriend. I figured, why not let her have it one time? It was so bad. It, every five minutes, I'm sitting there going, "What the hell am I doing here?" I figured it's got to get better. No, it never got better. And I'll tell you what. The one good thing that came out of it is every time she wants to see another one of these chick flicks, I go, "Remember Miss Congeniality?" She goes, "Yeah." Never again. <laughs> That's it. She is. She, I hold it to her every to the day I die. I will hold that to her. She's my wife now. I'll hold that to her, and and she stays quiet. That's it. She knows because the movie sucked, and she admitted it sucked. <laughs> Who was in that movie? Do you even know? I know it was uh, Brand. Oh God, I forgot that cat's name. But I know um the woman from Speed, the girl from Speed, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Yes, that's uh, right. She was in that. And the Latino dude with the non-Latino name, can't think of his name, Benjamin Bratt. That cat was in it. Uh -huh. Benjamin Bratt. And I thought, okay, how bad it could it be? It got Benjamin Bratt. It, Benjamin Bratt, I don't know, he was on crack that day because he shouldn't have been in that movie. <laughs> uh, I, I you must have been on crack that day because you were at that movie. And temporary insanity, but I'm okay now. And I, got, I have an ace in the hole, so it'll never happen again. I love it. Can you take me out with that uh, that new cougar style with the little cat, the little cat? Oh, absolutely. The new cougar style. Here you go. Cougar is like nobody else's Cougar. At the sign of the cat. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jim on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Jim. Hello. Yes. Tom. Yes. These fellas that are uh, going to the movies with their old ladies, what a bunch of pussies. The old ladies are probably dressing them, too, in cardigan sweaters and dockers. Oh, you're probably right. And hush puppies on the feet. Now you're probably right. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I went through that at one time, my wife trying to pick my clothes out for me. I told her, forget it. So... <laughs> Tom, could you take me out um, with a toilet? With a toilet? I'll take you out with a toilet. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's continue our conversation here with uh, look at this, David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, uh, Tom Likas? Yes. Hey, uh, this is uh, a first-time listener, first-time caller, too. Uh, my buddy just told me to listen to you because uh, I got this girlfriend, right? And she always drags me to these, uh, you know, chick flicks, and she gets mad when I fall asleep. Hey, hey, stuff. watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry, sorry, sorry. For that. <laughs> so I get dragged into this stuff, and then she gets mad when I fall asleep. I'm like, if I dragged you to, you know, a dude movie... And you didn't like it, you know, I'm not going to complain to you. And she wants me to go to Wicked, and I don't know what I should do, too, because we've been together almost a year. She doesn't love me, uh, and they always give me advice, and they say that you're the best advice that's out there. Uh, my advice is you shouldn't have a girlfriend. Yeah, I've been I've been trying that. Like, I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking about that, but... Well, it's your decision, so make it. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.